Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a quick number theory problem. We want to find all positive integers a, b, and c such that a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals a squared b squared. Now there are probably a few different ways you can solve this, but I'm going to be showing you a really slick way of solving this. Anyway, if you want to, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to jump straight into the solution. <laughs> Okay, so one of the tricks we're going to use in this solution is to look at this mod 4, because square numbers are quite nice mod 4. If we have an integer x and we square it, this is always going to be either 0 or 1 mod 4. And that depends on whether x is an even number or if x is an odd number. And this isn't too difficult to prove, you just do it by, well, if x is even, you write it as x equals 2m, and if x is odd, you write it as 2m plus 1, and then you square it, expand it, and take out a, an according factor of 4. Anyway, we're going to use this fact, and we're also going to use the fact that when we stare at this equation, we see that there's a bit of symmetry. There's a symmetry between a and b. We can swap the roles of a and b, and the equation doesn't change. So, using that symmetry and the fact that square numbers are either 0 or 1, we can look at this into two different cases. So case 1 is going to be when either a or b is odd. So either a or b is odd. And it doesn't matter which because of the symmetry of this equation. So without loss of generality, let's say a is odd. And again, this argument works if both of them are odd as well. It doesn't matter. Well, what happens when a is odd? We're going to look at this equation here, mod 4. So we get 1 plus b squared plus c squared is congruent to 1 times b squared, which is, of course, b squared. So mod 4. And just cancelling the b squareds on both sides and bringing the 1 to the other side, we get c squared is congruent to minus 1, mod 4. But this is impossible because c is an integer. We know integers can only be, or the square of an integer can only be 0 or 1, mod 4. It can't be minus 1. So that means that case 1 gives us no solutions. Now, the argument to case 2 is very, very interesting. So case 2 is going to be the case when both a and b are even. So let's move on to that. Okay, so let's look at when a and b are both even. Well, then that means I can write a as, say, 2m, b as 2n, and, well, also looking at this, we're going to have even number plus even number equals even number, so we need c squared to be even, and therefore c also even, so I can call this, say, 2p. And now just plugging all of this in, I'm going to get 4m squared plus 4n squared plus 4p squared is equal to 16m uh, squared n squared. And so now what I can do is just divide everything by 4. So I get m squared plus n squared plus p squared equals 4m squared n squared. Now can you see the issue with this? The right hand side is a multiple of 4 and therefore 0 mod 4. And each of these guys here are square numbers and we want them to add up to 0 mod 4. So none of them can be odd because the moment one of them's odd you can't then have all of them adding together to make 0 mod 4. So we need each of these to be 0 mod 4 which means that they are even numbers. So m, n, and p are all even. And in fact, we can then divide everything by uh, 4. So if I divide this whole equation by 4, I have m over 2 squared plus n over 2 squared plus p over 2 squared is equal to m squared n squared. So m is an even number, so m over 2 is still an integer. n over 2 squared is an integer, and so is p over 2 squared. Now, we know that m, n, and p are all even, so in particular m and n are even, so this right hand side here is even, well it says it's even squares, so I can actually just write this as m squared, uh, m squared times n squared, sorry, is m, n all squared. So the right hand side is an even number squared, so it's going to be 0 mod 4, so that means this thing here is going to be 0 mod 4, so again I can just divide everything here by 2 because they all have to be even, none of them can be odd, so m over 2 is even. So again I'm going to divide everything, the left hand side and the right hand side by 4, so m over 2 squared divided by 4 is m over 4 squared plus n over 4 squared plus p over 4 squared, and that equals uh, m squared n squared over 4. But now I can write this as uh, m over 2 squared times n over 2 squared times 4. Can you see the issue with this? We know that m over 2 and n over 2 are even. 
So that means, I mean, you can clearly see this is a multiple of 4 anyway. So that means this is a multiple of 4, so this is a multiple of 4. So that means that m over 4 is an even number, n over 4 is an even number, and p over 4 is an even number. So again, I can keep dividing these by 2, and this process is never going to stop. So by infinite descent, this would mean that I have infinitely many solutions. Uh, but that's not possible, because we know that m, n, and p must eventually you know, they must eventually be less than 1. Because if I keep dividing m by 2, uh, this number here is eventually going to be less than 1. So it can't be even anymore. It's between 0 and 1. So this is a contradiction. And therefore, there are no solutions. Uh, there are no solutions when a and b are both even to this. And because we've considered the other case as well, it means that there's no solutions to this equation at all. I hope that has all made sense. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Two kind of different arguments, both uh, evolving or revolving around the fact that uh, square numbers can either be 0 or 1 mod 4. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, please uh, do consider subscribing. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.